that, that his, his point on intemperate language should be relayed to another place. I just rise to, to seek some reassurance. Intemperate language, I understand. But the word argumentative was used as not being appropriate. Maybe it's because I'm argumentative. But I do actually think that an important part of scrutiny and an important role of this House, and we now have the responsibility of holding the Foreign Secretary to account, will be that there is likely to be some argument. And I just worry about the potential of over-sanitising the nature of the discussion. No one should be rude, but the word argumentative was just a little worrying. Maybe you could reassure me you're not trying to quell dissent because and have a chilling effect on free speech. Your senior deputy responds. Can I say I fully support both houses, both reports, both, both, both reports brought to the House today by the senior deputy speaker. Um, the proposals contained in the seventh report and the first part, I think, are practical, sensible proposals which aid scrutiny. Uh, I've been in this House now over 13 years. When I first came in here, we were constantly reminded about the companion and sticking to the companion. And it was very, very good advice, very sensible advice. That seems to have actually stopped in recent years, maybe because of the pandemic. But I would suggest all of us, we should get a copy of the companion from the printed paper office. It would make excellent bedtime reading. But it's. Uh, but honestly, if we stick to the companion, it aids scrutiny, it aids the, our business. And sometimes we all sit here very frustrated when other colleagues are not sticking to the companion, are straight all, all over the place, waffly speeches, waffly questions, waffly answers. I mean, it's not good, is it? So let's all get a copy of the companion when we come back and actually, actually start using it. Yeah. My, my, my lords, 